I've always heard how beautiful Alteron's supposed to be. Figures I'm gonna see it in the middle of a war. At least he'll still be pretty in the holos. Don't sweat it. When we win the Great Hunt, I'm taking you on vacation. Really? You mean that? Name the place and we're there. Thanks, big guy. That means a lot. Time to find out who's standing between us and a week on the beach. Welcome to Alderaan, Hunter. Former tourist capital of the Core Worlds. Your target here is a nobleman nicknamed the Durasteel Duke on account of his knack for staying alive. Over a thousand assassins have come and gone trying to put the Duke to bed, but he ain't met you yet, right? He was last seen with House Gerard. They're guests of House Thule, so that's a good place to start looking. Good luck. Figure she'd gloss over the details. Lucky for you, I'm on the job. Fill me in. I hate surprises. In a nutshell, when the Queen of Alderaan died a few years ago, the head of the military declared himself king. That didn't go over so well. Now the three largest houses are fighting over the crown. Let's see which one wants it badly enough. I'm all for making extra credits, just don't forget about the Great Hunt. Come on. We better go pay a visit to Hell's Gerard. Oh, and one last thing. The nobles of Alderaan are different. They think they're untouchable, and they won't be impressed. No matter how big a gun you wave around. Just cuffed the whelp for scuffing my boot with the stirrup when... Oh! Abominable. Just ignore it. Maybe it'll wander away. Nice place you got here. So what's on tap? Rafid, have the help fetch something palatable to our new guest. Some trough water, perhaps? That's kind, Father. But are we certain they can spare a bucket? Ah, uh, true. As you can see, your arrival is imposing upon our hospitality. You must leave, now, and use the servant's exit. People would talk if they saw someone of your ilk here. Guess I should have worn my other blaster. You know, Ada, he's quite the wag. I think we should keep him around. Do shut up, Rafid, or I'll be speaking to your father. Must you two squabble in front of our guests? You're causing more of a stir than our visitor here. Ladies and gentlemen, please, return to the festivities. I will have a few words with our esteemed guest here. You better pick those words more carefully than your friends here. I will deal with you respectfully if you extend me the same courtesy. You aren't seriously considering dealing with this thug? Uncle, please. I have the situation well in hand. Return to the festivities. This is not a request. I believe I know why you're here. But this is a discussion best held in private. Please wait in my office. I'll be right with you. I'm a bounty hunter. I'm after the Durasteel Duke. Can you help me or not? Right to the point, yes? I'm afraid the Duke and his sister left House Gerard some time ago under unpleasant circumstances. House Gerard now has a vested interest in finding the Duke and having him meet an unpleasant end. A minor noble claims to have a lead on the Duke. However, he insists on meeting in person, which I'm not willing to do. Instead, I will employ you. Formalities aren't in my job description. I can't expect you to navigate the intricacies of our society, but I can give you the authority to negotiate on my behalf. From this point on, you will act as House Gerard's advocate, a role of honor. Come, I will walk you through the appointment ceremony. Let's make this happen. Please kneel. I, Baron Zakar Gerard, do hereby bequeath my voice and my seal to this proxy. Now repeat after me. I humbly accept this honor and swear to carry my authority in a manner befitting the Lord I serve. I humbly accept this honor and swear to carry my authority in a manner befitting the Lord I serve. You may rise. Well done. There may be hope for you yet. 
It is customary for information to be double encrypted in these transactions. So Lord Malthus must enter his half of the key before you take the data. I'll let Malthus know you'll arrive at his encampment soon. Be on your best behavior. What is all that noise? Oh, oh, wow, look at all this stuff. It's gorgeous. Oh, oh no. Out, please. Take your battles elsewhere. This museum has no strategic value. I'm looking for a phony relic, that's all. You must be mistaken. Each piece here is an irreplaceable artifact from Alderaan's long and distinguished heritage. Some are thousands of years old. You must go before anything is damaged. I won't lay a finger on a thing if you help me find what I'm looking for. I have cared for these antiquities for 57 years. Every item here is the genuine article. I can prove it to you. I have an integrity scanner we use for restoration work. It will only take a few minutes to scan for a non- Oh no! The security cameras, they've spotted you. You can't fight in here. Don't worry, they're not even gonna make it to the door. I can't believe this is happening. I... I've, I've found something. But that's impossible. If this is a fake, where is the real first founding memorial vase? That wasn't so tough, was it? Who would risk our precious history by hiding such a thing here? You have what you want, no? Please, leave. Please. Accept your hand? <laughs> I'd sooner thrust my fist into a thresher. I, I don't understand. I, I thought this had already been arranged. Approved. Advocate, be so kind as to remove this thing from my presence. I'm not your bouncer. Hmm. I suppose insolence is to be expected from one of your sparse social graces. As for you, if I find you here when I return, I'll have the cook skewer and baste you. D does this mean I should uh, cancel the ceremony? Your attack on House Alder certainly didn't go unnoticed, but you managed not to cause any unnecessary destruction. That merits a bonus, I think. Appreciate it, Baron. You'll be certain to see more if you continue to perform with distinction. Let's see what you've discovered. Hmm, this is an Organa's house tongue. Give me a moment to pass the details. These houses. Thule vassals. Ulgo vassals. House Organa. Duke Corwin isn't just allying with the Organas. He's organizing an entire coalition against the House Thul. Sounds like he's prepping you guys for a good beatdown. Indelicate, but accurate. And there is nothing we can do about it. My cousin is safe within the sanctuary of House Wrist. If he's under their protection, it's little wonder why the Juristeel Duke always survives. The Wrists are a family of assassins who ascended into nobility through centuries of murder and sabotage. Duke Corwin is beyond our reach. I'm gonna pay House Wrist a visit. Be back once the Duke's a corpse. You're determined. I'll give you that. You'll need to find Duke Corwin's haven inside House Wrist and stop whatever negotiations my cousin has underway permanently. I'm likely sending you to your death, but if you can manage to succeed, I will have a suitable payment waiting. I don't like the looks of this. I'm afraid you're too late. Duke Corwin took his leave of House Wrist on a shuttle just moments ago. Rather hastily, I might add. So hastily, he neglected to pay me. A rather gauche breach of etiquette. And unwise. Folks don't think so clearly when I'm hot on their trail. I'll admit your dog in pursuit has been rather impressive. Still, it's odd to see Duke Corwin panic. Regardless, congratulations are in order for surviving this long. It's more than can be said for the last bounty hunter to stalk our dear Duke. I do got this funny habit of breathing. I see you have a sense of humor. It'd be a shame to see it extinguished. I'm going to make you an offer. 
And I'm only going to make it once. House Rist has been contracted to eliminate Baron Zakhar Gerard and all of House Gerard's leadership. We'd like to commission you to carry out these assassinations on our behalf. You're asking me to kill my present employer. It's bad form. Hardly. Wait until after you've collected Baron Zakhar's bounty on the Durasteel Duke before you destroy House Gerard. There's no rush. House Rist has no further obligation to Duke Corwin. Agree to the contract. You can go in peace. I don't trust this guy, boss. Zakhar's been good to us so far. Let's play straight with him. It's a simple decision, really. Death. Or profit. Double dealing is bad for my reputation. Such a pity. Goodbye, bounty hunter. Advocate, are you there? Oh, damn this blasted thing. Can you hear me? I have news. I don't dare discuss the details on an insecure channel. Please return to House Gerard as soon as possible. I apologize for recalling you here, but I couldn't risk my cousin catching wind of this discussion. If his retreat from House Rist is any indication, the Durasteel Duke is already running scared, and I'd like him to stay right where he is. It may not be our goal, but crippling House Rist is worth noting. Consider this payment for supporting the Thule War effort. Nothing beats a stack of credits. Huh? What is the meaning of this? I just caught this little rake of yours in a dalliance with my wife. More like you caught your wife in a dalliance with me, cuckold. Unless you want half of House Thule questioning why we continue to keep you riffraff here, you'll grant me that winter haven of yours. My grandfather's estate? Are you mad? That's half my family's lands. Advocate, kill this petty extortionist. And I'll double what I just gave you. I'm not some common thug to be sent at everyone who annoys you. You can't even command authority over a hired goon. You're pathetic, Zakhar. I'll expect that deed promptly. I thought if there was anyone on this damnable planet I could finally rely on, it was you. Rafid, you're confined to your chambers indefinitely. Hope I do not keep you there for the rest of your natural life. Now get out! My life or yours, father? As I was saying, with House Rist unable to protect him, I have no doubt that Duke Corwin is seeking asylum with the Organas. Makes sense, considering how buddy-buddy they've been. The facts support that assumption as well. Thule scouts reported spotting a civilian shuttle headed into Organa territory shortly after you breached House Rist's compound. There's nowhere left for my cousin to run. Go kick down House Organa's doors and give them hell. Expect a bonus for any additional Organa casualties. Valor, help! Someone is trying to kill me. Valor! Wait! Don't shoot. I'm not who you think I am. Look! See? Guess nobody told you. The bait gets eaten. No! No, please! Don't! Boss, behind us. Take him down! Hold your fire. There has been enough needless killing today. This is a misunderstanding. I am sure we can reach an agreement without further bloodshed. You've got my attention. The impersonator you've been chasing is Lady Muriel Corwin, the Duke's sister. If you want to see the Duke, you need only look there. The real Duke Corwin died almost a month ago while visiting to negotiate a treaty. Even using Colto's suspension, our attempts to revive him have ultimately failed. All we've managed to do is delay his bodily death. Doesn't explain why you got his sister running around as a decoy. Duke Corwin promised he'd rally nobles loyal to him to Organa's side. But his death dashed any hopes of those alliances. Lady Corwin agreed to help us and her. Strong family resemblance allowed her to make a convincing double for her brother. She does kind of have a case of the Howling Uglies. We sent her to House Rist, 
to maintain the illusion that the Durasteel Duke was alive and well until she finished negotiating those alliances. You may as well have put a blaster to her head yourself. We never imagined someone could harm her while under the protection of House Wrist. Since you're more than capable of taking Duke Corwin from us, we won't resist under two conditions. Leave peacefully and speak nothing of this deception to anyone. Looks like we're finally catching a lucky break. Will you agree to those terms? The Duke's the only reason I'm here. Keep your word, and I walk out nicely. He's yours, Bounty Hunter. Just go in peace. Goodbye, brother. You... You make sure he gets a proper burial. Compliments to slander me. The Baron has no further need of your services. I have to assume the burden of managing my nephew's estate. As the Baron's only son, I have first claim to succession, Hader. Your claim was forfeit the moment you killed your father. As regent, the title passes to me. Actually, father, the Baron passed his authority to our advocate. Legally, the bounty hunter could name the new head of House Gerard. Why do either of you deserve to be Baron? Being my nephew's faithful right hand for years obviously makes me the most suited to this task. Besides, I've accumulated a tidy sum over the years. Appoint me Baron and I'll see you well rewarded. Ha! Hader keeps his purse strings so tight he could garret you with it. Grant me my inheritance and I'll grant you a title. That's fair, right? You can make yourself at home whenever you like. Should either one of them take over, we'll all end up hoppers or lapdogs to the Thules. If you would finally liberate me from these buffoons, I would be very grateful. Enough pandering. What's your decision, Advocate? I'm going with Itala. Father, I shan't have need of your counsel as Vice Baron. You may consider yourself a lord in waiting. This is your gratitude for rearing you to adulthood? Think of it as a reward for all the years you devoted to raising me as a commodity. As for you, Raphid, you are hereby banished from House Gerard. What? You can't! Where will I go? When have you ever had trouble finding a bed? I'm sure you'll be fine. I can handle things from here, Advocate. Thanks to you, I can now take control of my life. This is a new low, Rafid. You're accusing me! If anyone is- Gentlemen, compose yourselves. Our esteemed guest has returned. We are busy, Bounty Hunter, and as you can see, Baron Zakar is otherwise indisposed. My nephew's last act was preparing a sum of credits. I can only assume they're yours. How'd the Baron bite it? My nephew was done in by a poisoned glass of wine. Obviously, his overambitious progeny is doing. I'm ambitious now? Why, uncle? Stooping to compliments, to slander me. The Baron has no further need of your services. I have to assume the burden of managing my nephew's estate. As the Baron's only son, I have first claim to succession, Hader. Your claim was forfeit the moment you killed your father. As regent, the title passes to me. Actually, father, the Baron passed his authority to our advocate. Legally, the bounty hunter could name the new head of House Gerard. Why do either of you deserve to be Baron? Being my nephew's faithful right hand for years obviously makes me the most suited to this task. Besides, I've accumulated a tidy sum over the years. Appoint me Baron, and I'll see you well rewarded. Ha! Hader keeps his purse strings so tight he could garret you with it. Grant me my inheritance, and I'll grant you a title. That's fair, right? You can make yourself at home whenever you like. Should either one of them take over, we'll all end up hoppers or lapdogs to the Thules. If you would finally liberate me from these buffoons, I would be very grateful. Enough pandering. What's your decision, Advocate? I'm going with Itala. Father, I shan't have need of your counsel as Vice Baron. 
You may consider yourself a lord in waiting. This is your gratitude for rearing you to adulthood? Think of it as a reward for all the years you devoted to raising me as a commodity. As for you, Raphid, you are hereby banished from House Gerard. What? You can't! Where will I go? When have you ever had trouble finding a bed? I'm sure you'll be fine. I can handle things from here, Advocate. Thanks to you, I can now take control of my life. Wrist funky dead ahead. Better watch your back. You looking for trouble? No need to be alarmed. I'm only here to deliver a message. It is unfortunate that our individual arrangements had us at odds earlier, but that's simply the nature of our business. My master wishes to ensure that there's no ill will left between us. I don't know. I can be real temperamental. I find credits help lighten my mood. My master anticipated this. Please accept a peace offering. House rest will no longer interfere with your affairs. News Taro Blood will not take graciously, I'm sure. He fronted a considerable sum to ensure his rivals were dealt with. I imagine he'll threaten some reprisal, but I think we both know what Taro Blood's word is worth. Bioscan incoming. The Durasteel Duke. Confirmed. <laughs> Guess he wasn't blaster-proof after all. You're clear to move on. Any word on our rival? It's been confirmed that Irido-san was disqualified in his sleep weeks ago. Guess he got sloppy. Welcome to the final round, Hunter. Contact your handler when you're ready to proceed. Good hunting. Can't wait to see what's next. I know. I can't tell if I'm excited or terrified. Looks like someone's been trying to get through. What do you bet it's Krista waiting to talk our ears off? I know who you are, Hunter. You have made an enemy of Taro Blood. Even now, Taro's comrades head to Narshada to discuss ways to eliminate you from the Great Hunt. I am sending you the coordinates of that meeting. I do not know how long they'll be there, so I'd suggest haste. This your idea of a trap? Yes, but you are not the one it's meant to ensnare. Taro robbed you of your allies in this competition. It seems only fitting that you return the favor. I don't need to stoop to his level. Hunter, we Mandalorians believe in blood for blood. This will be dealt with honorably. Go to Nar Shaddaa. Confront those who have dishonored you and my people. Show them what it means to be a true warrior. That was Head Arsoon. I, I can't believe it. You think Soong's on the level? He's a living legend. There's no way he'd be in cahoots with a dirtbag like Taro Blood. If Soon wants to help us, we should seriously consider heading to those coordinates. <laughs>